The story we will tell you in this video is related to the mystical druids, Celtic wandering prophets and keepers of ancient forgotten knowledge. Their existence is part of folklore, but supported by very little real evidence regarding their knowledge and abilities, carrying the wisdom of a very old civilization. They were distinguished by their colors of their insignia, robes, and capes, which were black or white. In his work notes on the Gallic War, the Roman general Julius Caesar mentions Druidic councils that were close to the common people during the equinoxes and some of the major Celtic festivals. Druids were members of the ancient Celtic priesthood with an essential role in Celtic societies, especially in Gaul, present-day France, Great Britain, and Ireland. They were chosen as religious leaders, philosophers, judges, and advisors to rulers and domains. Some legends link their knowledge and skills to that of the mythical Atlantis, others to an extraterrestrial civilization that inexplicably passed on their skills to them without a single written document. However, Druid knowledge is believed to be related to a few leading skills. They were highly educated and knowledgeable in the fields of philosophy, astronomy, medicine, and the occult. Keepers of oral tradition and wisdom because they did not write down their teachings. In fact, it was forbidden and is one of the main rules. Their education and training were rigorous and took many years. Druids were deeply connected to nature and deeply understood the natural world, studying plants, animals, and the environment, as well as the relationship between all living things. Exceptional healers using herbs and natural remedies for medicinal purposes. So advanced was their knowledge in this field that their skills were thought to surpass modern medical knowledge through a broad, holistic approach. These clerics deeply respected nature and believed that it was wisdom and spiritual meaning for people. Their understanding of natural philosophy encompassed various aspects. They knew very precisely how a particular herb could heal the mind and body. They knew animal sounds well, which brought them to a deeper knowledge of the world and man's place in it. According to them, every living thing has some natural symbol. The deer was considered a symbol of nobility and spiritual growth, and the owl was associated with wisdom and intuition. Legends say that they even understood exactly what the animals were saying and knew how to communicate effectively with them. The Druids knew that each place had its own specific energy charge. For this reason, they studied important natural locations as a natural source of spiritual energy and connection to divine intelligence. According to some theories, these places were not randomly chosen by the Druids alone, but were recognizably locations for contact with other more advanced extraterrestrial civilizations. It was very important for the Druids how the cycles of their respective seasons progressed. For this reason, they observed and studied them to honor the changing rhythm of nature. They marked events such as the solstice and the equinox with rituals and ceremonies. These holidays reflected their understanding of the relationship between man and nature, promoting a sense of unity and harmony. These clerics knew and mastered the elemental forces in nature, such as earth, air, fire, and water. They sought to use their energy to establish balance and harmony in the world. According to some legends, the Druids received their knowledge from the spiritual teachers who appeared mystically. Some legends connect them with divine knowledge, others with human lost and forgotten civilizations, and still others with an extraterrestrial high-developed civilization that periodically trained them. Following these processes of learning and development, the Druids sought to understand the complex relationships between humans, nature, and the spiritual realms. According to other hypotheses, the Druids derived their skills through a careful study of nature and its regularities, as well as from spiritual trance states that can be defined as meditative. They meditated and sought guidance, interpreting the rustling of leaves, the direction of branches, and other natural signs. They believed in the power of spoken words, 
chants, incantations to summon and shape natural forces. They also engaged in shamanic practices, including trance-like journeys into the spirit realm. Through meditation, rhythmic drumming, and other techniques, they attempted to enter altered states of consciousness and connect with the spirits of ancestors, animals, and deities. These journeys provided them with guidance, insights, and spiritual experiences. These priests knew that our world was inhabited by natural spirits and deities invisible to the common man, such as nymphs and fairies. Those connected to them can receive the power to aid in healing, divination, and spiritual guidance. The Druids saw the natural world as living and sentient, believing that everything in nature possessed consciousness and spirit, including rocks, rivers, and mountains. Because of this, they had a deep sense of respect and reverence for all aspects of the natural world. Clerics practiced divination as means of diagnosing disease and understanding the root causes of disease. They used various methods such as reading natural signs, interpreting dreams, and using divination tools such as oam rods and runic stones. They recognized the presence of energy flowing through the body and believed in the importance of maintaining its balance. They also used techniques such as energy manipulation, laying on hands, and chanting to restore energy flow and promote healing. They recognized the importance of ancestral connections and believed that the healing could extend beyond the physical realm. Practice healing rituals for their ancestors to honor them and seek guidance from the spirits. By maintaining a harmonious relationship with their ancestors, Druids believed they could access their wisdom and receive help in their healing endeavors. According to some legends, this relationship is tied to a well-developed extraterrestrial civilization. The Druids were well aware of the mystical significance of geometric patterns and symbols. They believed that such specific geometric shapes, such as spirals, circles, and triangles, contained healing energies. These symbols were used as talismans, healing tools, and rituals to enhance healing and connect with the divine. For healing purposes, they also used sound volume and vibration through various techniques, such as drumming, singing, and playing musical instruments to create resonant frequencies to restore harmony to the body and spirit. Sound was perceived as a means of connecting with the invisible realms and evoking transformative energies. A few thousand years ago, another rare knowledge was astronomy and the study of the movements of celestial bodies. Druids watched the stars, moon, and sun to track the seasons, calculate the passage of time, and determine the most auspicious time for rituals and ceremonies. They tracked the positions of the sun, moon, planets, and stars to gain insight into the workings of the universe. By studying celestial events and cycles, the Druids sought to understand cosmic influences on Earth and human life. Stone circles, mounds, and other ancient structures were often built in specific directions to mark important astronomical alignments. Sites such as Stonehenge, Newgrange, and the like allowed the Druids to observe significant celestial phenomena and conduct their rituals in harmony with the cosmic forces. Some hypotheses again see a connection with transmitted extraterrestrial knowledge. Druids place particular importance on the phases and cycles of the moon. The phases of the moon have a symbolic and magical significance for them. They believe that the lunar energy influenced human emotions, fertility, and crop growth. Their rituals and ceremonies were often aligned with lunar cycles with specific practices performed during new moons, full moons, and other lunar phases. They also developed an astrological system using the celestial luminaries to interpret personal destinies and give certain directions. They developed their own system, relying on the belief that the positions and movements of the heavenly bodies influence individual destinies and the course of events. The Druids attached symbolic meanings and qualities to the zodiac signs, interpreting the interactions between the planets to gain insight into personal qualities, relationships, and future outcomes. Astrology has played an important role in decision-making 
and providing spiritual guidance. The priests associated the heavenly bodies with mythological beings and deities. They believed that gods and goddesses lived in the stars and planets and that their movements influenced the course of human affairs. The myths and stories passed down from generation to generation often contain references to cosmic beings and celestial events, reflecting the deep connection between Druid beliefs and the celestial realm. The priests sought to harmonize their rituals, ceremonies, and daily life with the rhythms of the heavenly bodies. In this way, they sought to tune into the natural flow of the universe and utilize the energies that are present during certain celestial alignments. These practices allowed them to strengthen their connection with the divine and to enhance their spiritual experience. They were also well versed in esoteric and mystical teachings, entered the realm of magic, divination, and spiritual practices. They believe in the power of rituals and spells to connect with the divine and influence the forces of nature. Druids practice magic and spells. They believe in manipulating natural forces and energies to achieve desired results when they perform rituals, cast spells, and use magical tools. Thus, they sought to harness the powers of the unseen realms and influence the course of events. They also use symbolism and signals to invoke certain energies and entities. They created complex symbols and signals representing various aspects of nature, deities, and spiritual forces. Rituals were central to Druidic occult practices. They created elaborate ceremonies to build sacred spaces and summon spiritual forces. Rituals included chants, invocations, sacrifices, and symbolic gestures to achieve the desired intent. These rituals were intended to establish a strong connection with the divine and elemental forces of nature. According to the old traditions, they associate this practice with the initial knowledge they received from the gods who literally descended from heaven to them. Were these gods not precisely a well-developed extraterrestrial civilization that brought analogous knowledge to the Druids that closely resembled that used by the priests of ancient Egypt and Babylon? Druids were believed to possess the ability to transform into animal forms. This ability to transform allowed them to connect with the spirits of certain animals, take on the qualities, and access heightened senses and knowledge. Shapeshifting was considered a mystical practice that expanded their understanding of the natural world and facilitated communication with the animal kingdom. The Druids believed that the dreams were a gateway to the subconscious and the spiritual realm. They believe that dreams contain messages, omens, and insights into the future. They practice dream interpretation to reveal hidden meanings and receive guidance and tap into the wisdom of the subconscious. They also attributed mystical significance to numbers and practiced numerology. They believe that numbers had a specific vibrations and meanings. By analyzing numerical patterns and relationships, the Druids sought to gain a deeper understanding of the natural world, the spiritual realm, and the interconnectedness of all things. They very well knew and mastered alchemy, a mystical practice for changing substances and achieving spiritual transformation. By exploring the transformative powers of plants, minerals, and metals, they sought to unlock the secrets of the universe and achieve spiritual enlightenment. Alchemical practices were seen as a means of achieving personal and spiritual growth. Whether all this knowledge was not given by more advanced beings on an intellectual and technological level remains a well-preserved mysticism, legend, and riddle for us. Whether the Druids are still with us today is also an unanswered question. Share your opinion on the topic in a comment, and if you like this video, subscribe to the channel.